It is a shame to screw up uh, the nice organ. And particularly in younger individuals, you know, high school age, um, their organs are always very nice, in nice condition. And it makes you appreciate the, the wonders of human physiology and human anatomy. But it also, on the other hand, makes you appreciate how fragile the heart is and how fragile the brain is and how in the blink of an eye you could go from being alive one day, take some drugs, your heart stops, the next day you're on the table in our office. And there's no way to predict who's, who that's going to happen to. I mean, you could be the star athlete in high school, or you could be on the chess club, or you could be the person that goes out and smokes all the time. It doesn't matter who it is. We can never predict who it's going to happen to. Unfortunately, New Mexico ranks highest in the nation uh, for drug-related deaths. And I say, unfortunately, for individuals that are affected by those drugs. Fortunately for me in the business that I am, you know, it helps uh, with the study of drugs and things like that. But unfortunately, uh, New Mexico has always had a reputation as ranking very highly in uh, drug overdose deaths. And I think recently it has been ranked the highest for drug overdose deaths. I think the brain is not as resilient as some of the other organs in the body, and that can be attested to by the fact that it's encased in a thick skull. It's coated by a tough mem membrane called the dura mater. So since the brain is really the kind of central processing unit of the body, the body does everything it can to really protect it. So when you start using things that damage your brain, like stimulant drugs, methamphetamine, inhalants, cocaine, anything that can get into the brain and cause it to function abnormally, then that's really going to have a horrendous effect on your body in general. Alcohol and shrooms. Smoking weed. They went from weed to pills. Cocaine, crack. 